If I can do it, you can do it. This was such a fun process to do. Around here, it's always about the fun. So stick around to see how it's made. Today, we're gonna see another way to layer our images or photos with colors, textures, and text into one beautiful and unique monoprint. And like I said, we're actually going to use our own images or photos to create it. <laughs> Essentially, we're going to create something like this one. So stick around to see how it's made. <laughs> and as always, it's going to be so much fun. Around here, it's always about the fun. <laughs> Okay, so let's start now. Let's see how it works. <laughs> there are obviously many ways to transfer an inkjet or a laser photo using different mediums, but today we're going to do our photo transfer with a gel plate. So you can use any size gel press or jelly printing plate. Both of them work just fine. I made a video comparing these two gel printing plates. So if you're interested, check out the video here. <laughs> but check it out later after you finish watching this video. <laughs> but if you don't have a gel plate or can't get one, you can easily make your own homemade gel plate and then use it to transfer and print your photos. I like to make my own gel printing plates. <laughs> it's so easy. So check out this video to learn how to make your own gel printing plate. And in that video, I also show a vegan option. If you don't have it, you can make it. It's so easy to make your own. Other than the gel plate, you will need some paints. For the background, you can use inexpensive craft paints. And for the text and photo, heavy body paints work best. If you're a beginner, I recommend using Amsterdam acrylics. And if you have my latest book, check out page 91 to see which paints work best for this process. You will also need a brayer to spread the paints and some stamps, stencils, or anything you have around to make marks in the paint. We are also going to use text from magazines and also text printed with a laser printer. And finally, this is the photo we are going to use. It's a photo printed with a laser printer on a standard printer paper. And since the images are going to be transferred onto a bold background, they need to be contrasty and strong, or else they won't be clearly visible over the background. And they're gonna blend in. And you don't want your photo to blend in. Why would you want that? And obviously you want your photo to stand out over the background. And once again, if you got my latest book, I included a chapter showing how to edit photos for image transfer using a free app. Oh yes, and I almost forgot the paper we're going to monoprint on. I like to use this printmaking paper, but you can use any other paper you like. So now let's begin by creating the background for a photo transfer. This is quite simple and straightforward to do. <laughs> Here's how you do it. So yeah, we will begin by creating these colorful monoprints, which we're going to use as the background for our photos. So let's begin by spreading a couple of paints on the gel plate using a brayer. and make some impressions in the paint with stencils, stamps, or any other object you have around the house. Now randomly pull the paint onto the paper. And if you have too much paint left on the plate, you can pull it onto another sheet of paper and create two backgrounds. It's a twofer. Now let's add some blue paint. Now 
Okay, so now I'm going to add some text to the background and for this I'm going to use burnt sienna. I spread the paint evenly on the plate and then I place the text face down onto the wet paint. I apply some pressure with my hands. And we got a good impression of the text on the plate. So while the text is still wet, I pull it onto the background paper. And I use a clean brayer to apply pressure on the back. And we got a nice transfer of the text to the background paper. So now I'm going to add another layer and this time I'm going to use text from a magazine. Magazines with glossy pages work best for transfer. And as we did before, we need to place the page face down onto the wet paint and apply some pressure with our hands. Okay, so now it's time to see how to transfer and print our chosen photo onto the background we made. Here is the photo we're going to transfer. And for this, I'm going to use black paint so it stands out over the background. If you have too much paint like I do, simply wipe it off the plate using the brayer. Now place the laser photo face down onto the wet paint. And we got a good impression of the photo on the plate. And if you love this process, there's a chapter in my new book about gel printing your own photos. Plus more new and updated image transfer processes. My new book is called the New Mixed Media Photography Book and it's available on Amazon. And while the paint is still wet, let's pull the photo onto the background we've made before. And I'm using a clean brayer to apply pressure on the back of the paper. This helps the photo transfer onto the background. Nice, we got a very good transfer. And I do like it at this point, but I feel it's missing something. So I think we should add another layer of color and texture. And now I'm just using the other background to clean up the plate. Nothing goes to waste. I think this monoprint can use some purple. Or maybe it's pink, I'm not sure. Okay, almost perfect. And finally, some more text from a magazine page. And again, I'm using burnt sienna for the text. Okay, so now I think it's finally done. I like it, it turned out pretty nice. This was such a fun process to do. 
And here are a few more monoprints I made using the same process. I hope you found this video useful. Let me know in the comments below. As always, I had a lot of fun making this video and I'll see you next time. Bye. I like it. It turned out pretty lovely. <laughs> and if you love this process, there's a new chat. <laughs> the book is called. Uh... <laughs> yeah. But today we're going to use it <laughs> with colors and <laughs> And like I said, <laughs> come on, it's, uh, you can do it. I like it. <laughs> I included a chapter. Let's start all over. So stick around to see how it's made. Bye, go, go watch another one of my videos. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> it's always about the fun around here. <laughs>